Hi everyone, I'm Paris again from I Travel Get Away and today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to keep comfortable on long haul flights. Before I get into that, I do want to announce the winner for this um, Swiss gear luggage lock that I talked about giving away and so let's do a drawing for that. I had about 17 entries so thank you so much for supporting our travel to get away. I truly appreciate it. Alright, the winner of this luggage lock is Swiss gear luggage lock. <laughs> the winner is Shawana Piggy. She shared and liked the video on Facebook. So congratulations. Please check out your inbox. I will be inboxing you. So yay, congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, now getting back to what, what the topic of the video is. How to be comfortable in long haul flights. First thing you should do right after booking your trip, um, before you pick your seats though, is to visit SeatGuru.com. It's a legit site um, sponsored by TripAdvisor. Basically, when you go to the website, you type in your airline and your airline number and your date of departure, and it will pull up the the plane that you're going to be flying on and. That will tell you if the seat is uh, good or bad. So say you are thinking of sitting in 32C and then you find out on Seat Guru that that particular seat does not decline, does not recline. I can't talk today. <laughs> does not recline. So um, it just gives you a heads up and, and then you can go to see if you want to change the flight or change the, the seat within that flight. Um, I wouldn't just use that for long haul flights. I would use that actually for any flight that I have, a short flight that I have from maybe Miami to Detroit. So just uh, check that site out because I think it's pretty cool and useful. Also, if you're really tall, um, you should get an exit row or extra leg room seating on a plane. Just pay the extra money. My boyfriend is about 6'6". Six, six, and he always gets extra rolls. If I'm flying with him, I'm flying an extra roll with him. He gets extra room seat and he pays the extra money just so he can have that comfortable comfortability. I can't talk today <laughs> while flying. Um, it's normally a little bit more, just a little tad more. It's not like outrageous or anything when you're getting those flights. So those extra perks seats on the flight just to keep comfortable because you don't want to be on a 14 hour flight and your legs are constantly touching the seat behind you and you're complaining and it's just making it uncomfortable for yourself and those around you so do everybody a favor pay the extra money and become comfortable okay <laughs> um thirdly dress comfortably there's no reason you should be wearing heels or tight clothing if you're on long haul flights. Um, the longest flight I've ever been on was to Australia from LA. It was 14 hours and I would have never, ever, 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 wore heels or tight clothing. I actually wore like a step up from pajamas. I wore sweatpants and sweatshirts and comfortable stuff because I wanted to sleep. I wanted to just relax. Like, no, 14 hours is basically half a day to get there. I want to be comfortable, and you should too, so dress comfortably. Um, also, take advantage of what the plane has to offer. Most likely, the, the plane is going to have um, screens on the back of each on the back of each chair. So the screens will offer movies, shows, um, games, different types of music, uh, albums available. Uh, check, check out these pictures. They're from my Qantas flight and from my um, Virgin Atlantic flight. Uh, Qantas went to Australia, it was 14 hours, and then uh, Virgin Atlantic went from Orlando to London. And both of these flights had a screen on the back and um, I enjoyed uh, what they had to offer while I was on those long haul flights. Also, get up and walk around and promote that blood flow 
while you're on those flights because you don't want to get a blood clot. From what I saw with people that had it, it's not pretty and it's actually pretty deadly. So get up and walk around. Um, also, if you have um, compression socks to wear when you're on those flights, that's good too because they promote blood flow when you're sitting in a certain position so these are a good investment especially if you fly a lot they're good for you so yeah like get up walk around if, even if you don't have to use the bathroom even if you don't have anybody to talk to a few rows back just get up and walk around and get your blood moving and then go back and sit down and do whatever you were doing um also a thing to do while you're on a long haul flight is sleep <laughs> like take advantage of the fact that you have some downtime to just relax and sleep. And if you can't sleep, then there's a, um, a vitamin A called melatonin. It's natural, your body already produces it. I don't believe you can overdose on that. Don't quote me, Google it first. Talk to your doctor first, but I do not believe that you can overdose. Even like this is five milligrams, and it says may help support restful sleep patterns. So say if you have a flight and it leaves at like 8:45 p.m. and that's not your normal sleep pattern. It's not the normal time that you go to sleep. You probably don't go to sleep to probably four hours past that or whatever. So and you're on this long haul flight and you're not interested in anything that they have to offer, then um, take a couple of pills of melatonin and like I think within two to three hours, two hours, maybe an hour, you'll be out of sleep and you'll feel rested when you wake up. Also, uh, you can do like sleep tea that kind of works the same way. It basically, I think it has melatonin in it. It's just you're drinking it versus just taking a pill form. So look into that too. Um, yeah, consult your doctor before just going to take the pills if you feel some type of way about it. But it is a natural aid. It is a vitamin that your body does produce already. So yeah, check it out. It, it's worth a thing if you want to catch up on those Z's. <laughs> um, another thing is to do is to eat. Bring snacks. Bring your own snacks on the plane. I love Grapes are amazing. But um, any other snacks, like you can bring things like that through the TSA. You can bring it. But if for some reason you forget it at home or you don't want to bring your own food through TSA, you can purchase it at the airport and bring it on the plane. Because um, air, air line food is not all of that in a bag of chips. It's actually like so disgusting. I cannot talk today. Maybe it's this lipstick that I wore. Um, comment below if you know why I'm wearing this lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to know if you guys watched the last video why I'm wearing this lipstick. But anyway, bring your own food uh and eat and relax and just like chill if all else fails and you can't uh watch any movies watch any shows play any games listen to music eat or sleep and you're some type of overachiever you just like to work all day you can work do work do some studying catch up on your professional work make some presentations uh, go through the presentations a few times do what you have to do to get over the hours when you're traveling. And then don't constantly look at the time that's left because most likely on that screen they also have like how many hours you have left before you get there. I mean, it's cool to look where you are in the world on there, but don't constantly be hung up on like, oh my gosh, I have seven hours left. Oh my gosh, I have four hours left. Oh my gosh, I have 30 minutes left. Like, just relax and just enjoy the moment. Um, that's all I have for being comfortable. I hope you guys take advantage of what I said today and an effort to keep you guys connected. If for some reason the plane that you're flying on does not have a plug for you to plug your devices on or the section that you're in in the plane doesn't have that, I'm giving away two power bank portable chargers to keep you connected um, while you're flying. So two people are going to win one of these. All you need to do to win is to comment below 
where your dream destination is. Mine is to go to the Bora Bora Tahiti. I've seen so many pictures on it and one day I hope to visit. And um, yeah, so while you're on your long transportation uh, getaway, this can keep you connected to your devices for about five hours and it's already pre-charged so you don't need to charge it when you take it out of the box. So yeah, so just comment below where your dream destination is and you could be a winner of these things as well. So that's all I have for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, share, um, add as a friend on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and do not forget to go book your vacation, your dream vacation, or any vacation that you may have on itravelgetaway.com. Um, we are sponsored through Jet Radar and Hotel Look. The Hotel Look is owned by Booking.com, so book your flight today. And yeah, I love talking to you guys today. I hope you stay comfortable with traveling. Happy travels. Talk to you soon. Bye.